Hello guys, welcome back to the Axon Files, and today I will be showing you how to program volumes of different 3D shapes into your calculator, such as cone, cylinder, and sphere. So let's get started. First, let's see how it actually works. So let's go to execute volumes, and so you can find the volume of a cone, cylinder, and sphere. So let's try cylinder for now. So let's say the radius is 6 and the height is 8. So at the volume that we can calculate, it'll say as about 905. Okay, and always feel free to go look down here at the key press history whenever you feel like you are falling behind. Okay, so now let's actually get started with the program. Let's go to program, go to new, then you, let's name the program like volume. volume. So volume, okay, let's enter. Then first let's go to program, I slash O, then click 8 for clear home, then go to program again, go to menu, which is D right here, menu, menu, and then you do menu, second, alpha, in quotations, find the volume of, so find the Volume of so then alpha comma find the volume of so let's do and quotations again cone. Then alpha and comma one, comma then do cylinder, 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 and then close quotations again. Alpha comma cylinder. Then let's do so. Let's do a uh, two comma two comma in quotations again so let's do our last one sphere sphere so then you close quotations and comma again no then sorry alpha and comma and three and that's our menu so now we go down so let's go to program nine label one so then let's do uh so we go to program i slash o then prompt prompt r comma h so prompt r comma h and then let's do r squared h over three and store as v So then uh, after that we do the next line is go to program again then display display uh, in quotations volume volume space in quotations and alpha again comma then v pi okay. So let's do program again, then go down until you get to stop. So stop. Now let's go to label two. So label two, we go to program again, nine, label two, then we do program, we prompt, prompt, the same thing, R, comma, H. So then it is R squared, R squared H uh, store as V. So then we can display again. Display three. Display in quotations volume.
and quotations then alpha comma so v same thing v pi then we're done with this label so now we can go to sphere after we go to stop uh, stop is in ctl stop is right here so stop then let's go to program again let's go to label three now which is sphere and so let's prompt let's prompt we all need to prompt r this time because it's radius so let's display now let's so that now we have to plug it into the equation so four over three times r to the power of three and store that as v so that's v so now enter so now we can just do the same thing like we did last time let's go to display display in quotations volume and colon space and quotations then alpha comma so v v pi so now let's we all we have to do is end it and this program is done so let's go down to uh, stop stop okay so now this program is done so let's test it out let's go to second let's quit this program okay so now let's test it let's go to program let's try volume let's try every all of the labels let's try comfort so let's enter the same radius and the same height so let's do the radius is six and the height is eight it should so the volume is yes about 302 which we can double check and next let's go to program and let's go to volume again and so this time let's try cylinder so let's do a radius of three and a height of four so we should get about 113 and yes after we check it it is correct now let's go to volume let's go to sphere so let's try the volume of a sphere so let's say the radius is six so the volume it says is nine of about 905 which is correct so also another thing you can do is if you just click alpha v just enter it it'll tell you what the actual volume is before times pi so the volume actually of that sphere is 288 times pi and if you just type in v you can find out what the if you want it as a whole number you can just type in v and you can get what the thing is times pi what the answer is times pi so thank you for watching the axon files if you liked our video please drop a like subscribe and comment any questions or concerns you may have if you enjoyed this video you may enjoy some of our other calculator program videos such as the quadratic formula and heron's formula bye for now see you next time on the axon file